Jeanette Crystal. They were preaching purpose to worship. They left it there to worship. Unlike man, but unlike man, they actually worship. They left worship. They ate worship. They even walked worship. For 3,000 years, they had lived on planet Crystal. And from generation to generation, they knew that one day the prophecy would be fulfilled. The planet was going to be destroyed. The time for the fulfillment of the prophecy was closer to them. The signs were manifested. The grounds quaked. The realm shook. They were living in fear now. Thank you. 
Cheva. Cheva, nice to meet you.
Jesus and my husband on the same day. <laughs>
Yes! We have IS here in our midst. And we have the music wing, Explo.
Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If no one was for me, we better come to Jesus. In this arena, please strategically position yourself. After we have touched the throne of grace with worship and graces, we have to hear from God. Do you believe that? We have to hear from God. So it's time for the word. But before I introduce the man of God, we have the Papa. You know, this is the fourth praise for to four. The fourth. Uh, edition of praise food before hallelujah Amen. the originator the originator of praise for to four is here this hallelujah i was the third uh, uh, president asking the, the third edition of praise for to four and president kujo is the fourth one but the first president when praise for to praise for to four started this year hallelujah I just want to give you one minute, and when I say one minute, I mean one minute. <laughs> I want so that you will tell us something. With a clap of your let's invite you back first. Amen. 
Listen, she came in with resignation letter, but God gave her praise for two for May you be with your God. This last day of the day. I'm a man of viewers, so I will just introduce the man of God. The man of God is a man I admire so much. Oh, hallelujah. He's a minister in the Apostolic Church, Ghana. Hallelujah. From Galilee District, I'm not from Luca. People of God, if you feel like shouting, if you feel like screaming, one thing I want to tell you that strategically position yourself. God will speak to us. With a standing ovation, let's go.
some boyfriends and girlfriends we believe could take us to the promised land but as I'm speaking to you now that Moses is gone and that Moses is dead but thank God for the death of Moses because until Moses dies Joshua will never come out until your Moses leaves your Joshua will never come in the sea So let me take you to the New Testament. John the Baptist appeared in the sea. And when they beheld the wondrous duties and tasks he was executed, they said, Ah, we are Baliba, we are Prophet Baal. We are come, you are the Messiah. And you are the Messiah. You see, look at the wonders you are doing. John, you are. Elijah, who is promised to return to us, and John said, I am not, but hear me, there is a man that coming after me, and the masses of the sanders, I am unworthy, so yes! But, but let me work something out right in there. Let me work something right in there. The same John, they loved as their miracle working personality. This same young man is telling them, I know you are happy with me. I know they started, happy with him. They started weeping. But hey, until some shows. Are you a Ghanaian? Are you a Ghanaian? Sorry if you are called John. But in my nation called Ghana, we know how we mention the name John. I tell your friend, until that son is, the Messiah will not come. You have lost a boyfriend, he is but a son. You have lost an uncle, he is but a son. You have lost a friend, he is but a son.
Sarah and Joshua took them to the promised land. He led them to defeat those Amalekites. And Paul was said that once they were enjoying grace on the promised land, the Amalekites and the Amalekites they joined forces. And he said, we are coming against you. And the Bible said, Joshua at that point also was dead. Your enemies are coming for you. And your protector is dead. Your accusers are coming. And your comforters are nowhere to be found. Oh, Jesus Christ. Your, your, your GPA. Somebody here. Joshua is dead. And now, after hearing the death of Joshua, now the Amalekites and the Amorites are gathering forces to come back. And now, who will lead us? Who will take us to war? Who will lead us to fight? Oh, you have come to that point. First semester, your GPA is taking you somewhere. Who will fight for you? Ah, uh, you have lost that hope. You have lost that faith. You have lost that miracle. And you have not just lost them, but an Ammonite and an Amalekite is on the way to fight you. The Bible said they kept wondering and asking questions. Moses is no more. Who will fight for us? Joshua is no more. Who will fight for us? Oh God. Something about the real mantle, the real temple, the real mystery. 
Then the other said, is the season. So you see, all your hard work is the season. Keep saving for it. And that will be for another day. But you know, and when the Lord saw that Leah was dead, he opened heaven. Do you have people who hate you? Let me help you understand this picture. These two statements. I have seen strong and energetic men die, and I have seen people who smoke also die. Are you strong? Are you sick? You are potential. I'm not talking about what caused it, but after that, judgment. Some believe that Jesus will come, Jesus will come and it's been over. Saint is the man is not evil. Let me tell you. When you read John, 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 Luke 19, 16, you will have to see the fact that every day you die. And a right man, a rightful man, a poor man by name Lazarus died and was carried to be hoisted in the bosom of Abraham. And a rich man also died and was carried to somewhere. People who died years ago, if they deserve to be in heaven, guess where they are? And men who died many years ago, guess where they are? Who told you Paul is in heaven? Heaven is still under construction. Paul is not in heaven. He is in the bosom of Abraham. Every man died and dead who will be going to heaven is waiting for the Lord in the bosom of Abraham. And any man who will die and go to hell. He's waiting already. And don't forget what the rich man said. He said, Can you send me back to the earth and tell many people who are living like me, failing to deliver their lives and give their hands to Christ? Have you given the opportunity to go back and warn them? And he, he was told that don't worry yourself. The very message you have for them, the very message you have for KMUSC students, on the 24th of October 2015, I will send a young man by name Joshua. And you go and tell them there are many seniors and many young men and whatever they die and trust me where they are. Tonight you will come and you can. Where will you be? If you want to show of heaven, that means you are going to heaven. Judgment was delivered from the mouth of God the Father. And he handed it to the Son. And the Son also took judgment. He said, I cannot also die and handed it to the world. So God, the Father, will not get us. Neither the Son. Guess who judges us? Guess who will judge us? The Word. And the Word has started judgment. That is why when you see it quickly and when did you speak it? <laughs> so you know what? If you go to hell, already the Word in you who is a child has convicted you. That is why you are not too sure of heaven. It is not your mind, but it is a spirit that says that the Lord living in you, convicting you. Of where you shall be. But tonight, what a platform for you to relate to Jesus and not walk. That I will it is not about I'm the choir leader. I'm from Lagos, completed Lagos some seven years ago. I did three years ago. And we were talking about these things and they will not mind us. But mind me tonight. You may be a prayer leader. But you don't remember the life. If you don't remember giving your life to Jesus, a car born, a, a, a child born in a garage is not a car. Okay. A woman in labor, if she finally ends up delivering in the car garage, that baby will not be called a car. Being born in a church does not make you a Christian. It is with the heart we believe. I know you have been, but with their top confession, come run, 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 run and come and confess Jesus. Not because you are saved, but because you haven't confessed Him. Not because you are all righteous, but because you don't remember confessing Him anywhere. Not because you are a liberal for the kingdom of darkness, but because you are not too sure the last time you did this thing. Run to Christ and surrender your life to Him. Run to me. I say. Jesus Christ.
have so much and you resist it. There was a billion dollar organized crusade. Three days. Oh, 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 
Your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. 